Hey guys, I'm back today to do another unboxing video. Uh, shout out to all of my followers on Instagram. You saw that I was at Short Hills Mall uh, on Friday as well as on Sunday when I made the purchase uh, and saw a little bit of a teaser on what this item may be. This is something that has been well thought out uh, in making this purchase. And this is also the bag that I'm going to be bringing up with me to Boston and it is probably going to be my last bag purchase for quite some time. So without further ado, I am going to get into the unboxing. Starting off, it came in a standard receipt envelope uh, with the Louis Vuitton sticker actually keeping it closed. Just peeling that off briefly, that's what it looks like. And just comes in a receipt like this. So this was purchased from a full boutique, so there's no other additional cards other than just the receipt uh, from the Louis store. I wasn't actually planning on purchasing this bag. Uh, while I was still home in New Jersey, I was planning on getting it in Boston. However, I've had uh, amazing uh, customer service and I had a great sales associate who, uh, her name is Lily. She was very, very helpful. She had spent a lot of time with me showing me several different bags. Uh, and I couldn't have asked for better service. And she had also uh, offered to be my continual associate. So. Whenever I will be making a Louis purchase, I will be calling her, so that definitely sold me on making the purchase now. So I'm going to say, like, right off the bat, this isn't nearly as exciting as it may seem or as it may anticipate, but it came in this monster huge bag, and you'll see why in a moment. So it's just a larger Louis Vuitton bag, and on the inside is the box. So sliding it out of the bag, this is the box, came in this tremendous box with the leather cord around it. This is not a uh, typical lid box, this is actually a uh, flip top lid box, it's a very large box. So taking it out, it came in a drawstring bag, and some of you may know exactly what this bag is now. Um, like I said, it's not nearly as exciting of a purchase as it may come off as being, but... So taking it out of the drawstring dust bag, I purchased the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier 35 in Damier Bin. So I don't remember exactly where I got the idea from. I know a fellow YouTuber had said that when they purchased the Speedy, Oh, oh, I can't remember her username. I know. I follow her uh, on YouTube religiously. I love her videos. I will link her channel in the description box that she had called her local Louis Vuitton store and had them send it to her uh, to save money on tax, which is a big deal. Uh, so um, she had asked them to uh, stuff her Speedy and send it in a larger box with the drawstring bag so I had asked my sales associate Lily I had said to her you know is there any way I can get this just stuffed so I would definitely 100% recommend that because it is a lifesaver not having it flat pressed and it just helps to maintain its shape and longevity and to keep it from cracking so it's just a standard speedy 35 bandolier I'll go up close and show you some details but the reason I purchased this bag is because I had seen in a GQ magazine that it was very trendy and very sporty looking and very um, like men's chic for a men for a man to wear a gym bag as like a messenger bag and so I had like religiously waited for them to come out with the Speedy and the Bandolier and when they came out with it in the Damier bin I was like so thrilled over that so I went in tried it on and tried it on the 35 and it gave like it had that gym bag look that I was looking for so in addition to just loving the bag I just loved the look that it had on me it didn't exactly look like a handbag the size 30 looked much more like a handbag this looks more like a men's gym bag so I really like that it has a standard double zipper and she stuffed the bag in just paper rather than the air packets and has you know signature speedy features I'll go in in a second once I unstuff it so now that I unstuffed it you can kind of see it's um, got a little bit of the creasing going on from it being flat pressed 
that just takes time to wear out. But you can see plain interior, like a typical Speedy, has a pouch pocket. And on the inside of this, I have my cards, my textile card, price card, whoops, <laughs> textile card, price card, and keys. So I'll go in and show you some details and you will also see another reason why this purchase was absolutely necessary at this time. One of my favorite fellow uh, Louis Vuitton lover and also YouTuber, Queen Cat. She's a very popular YouTuber here. I'm sure most of you have seen her videos. She is uh, very picky about needing a bag made in France. And I can't say that it has to be made in France. One thing though, it cannot have that cloth tag. I will not purchase a bag with the interior cloth tag that says uh, made or handcrafted of imported materials in the US or whatever it is. Uh, that's on the new Made in US bag, so the 30 I tried on had the Made in US tag, so I was like, mm, not gonna do it, but this bag was an exception. You can see right here, we have Louis Vuitton Paris, Made in France. Very exciting. I was, uh, like literally, I was really nice and calm and well-mannered in the store until I saw the Made in France and I was like, Made in France, what? I was like shouting at that point and she, uh, she my, um, uh, I'm still getting excited over it. Lily was uh, laughing at me because I was getting really worked up over that. So I had her put it aside on Friday night when I first saw this bag and picked it up uh, just this past Sunday. So Made in France sold me over on it. I thought of Queen Cats as soon as I saw it, like how rare is it to find this? And especially considering the fact that this is the very first day, or when was it? Friday was the very first day that I actually went in seriously looking at a Speedy. So now that's out of the way, I will go in and show you some closer details. So the keys were just, as well as the lock, the keys and the lock were just in this little box. Uh, the keys are out here now and I have the lock on the bag. So I placed the lock on the side of the bag that when you peel down the strap, you can see down in there, 35. I don't think it's going to come out on camera because I don't really want to destroy the bag. But there, uh, it's on the side that says 35, which tells you the size of your Speedy, as well as the Louis Vuitton Paris uh, made in France stamping. On the top, it's just the signature overlapping zipper pulls in the Golden Bross hardware that lead into the bag. You have the one side that has your D-ring, the opposite side with your patch pocket, and underneath you have the one side that has your stamp code. This is something else that kind of drew me into the bag. Uh, the stamp code is DU, what is this, DU2133, so that means it was made in the 23rd week of 2013, so really? This bag was only, I think it turned out to be like a month old after I purchased it. Like so, this bag has only been on the shelf for about a month, if that. So I was really happy that it was pretty much brand new. So I think that just about wraps it up for this video. I'm going to obviously be doing plenty of more videos with this bag. I'm very excited for it. Very signature piece. Very functional and very excited for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a great day.